Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo on how to enable access between comfort panel and shared folder on Windows machine. In this video as a reference, Windows 10 machine is used, but all steps can be applied to Windows 11 machine without major difficulties. Let's get started. The principles of accessing files or folders are way similar to Windows 10 OS, Windows Server OS, or network attached storage hard disks. Let's take a look at the network topology. In this example all the equipment are in same subnet, 192.168.1.x. First of all, let's prepare our Windows machine. The steps we gonna make are Enabling discovery on the network and sharing Create a user and users group Create a folder with enabled sharing Management of security And some notes on the OS, that needs to be taken into account. Now, let's make sure, that our machine can be discovered on the network. To do that, open control panel. Click on network and sharing center. And hit on change advanced sharing settings. Or locate search on the taskbar. And type in, Manage Advanced Sharing Settings Browse through all the network profiles and enable network discovery, also file and printer sharing. In the All Networks, turn on Sharing, use Encryption, and turn on Password Protected Sharing. Save Settings and restart your PC. Next we are going to create User and Group. Open Control Panel Administrative Tools and Computer Management Expand Local Users and Groups Mark Users, right-click on it, and select New User A new user dialog will show up Give a name HMI and password, 111 You need to memorize these, as they will be needed when you will configure Comfort Panel Uncheck user must change password at next logon, check user cannot change password, and password never expires. After that, click on create. Next, mark groups, right click on it, and select add new group. Give a name, operations, and click add members. Enter username HMI and click on check names. Hit OK. We have done with group and user creation. Next, create a folder at your desired location. Give it a name HMI. Right click on it, and select properties. Go to sharing tab, and click advanced sharing. Check on share this folder. In the open dialog select permissions and remove all the users or groups. Then click add, enter the name HMI click on check names, and hit OK. Mark full control at allow column, hit apply and OK. Switch to the security tab. Hit advanced. In the permissions, hit disable inheritance, and select remove all inherited permissions from this object. Click on Add, and select a principal. Write down HMI, click on Check Names and hit OK. Select Full Control at Basic Permissions, and hit OK. 
check replace all child object permission entries with inheritable permission entries from this object, hit apply and OK. Close properties window. Sharing of the folder is done. At this point, to access shared folder on computer, you have two options. One is use of Somatic HMI option plus manager. Another one is, enabling of SMB v1.0 protocol. First option is more secured, but needs additional application, called Somatic HMI option plus manager and some settings there. Second option has security vulnerability, it contains a bug, that allows to take over control of a remote device. Microsoft released so-called fixed, simply disabled this feature, but you can re-enable it on your own risk. I am going to use SMB in my example. Start control panel, click on programs and features. On the left side click on turn windows features on or off, scroll down to the SMB 1.0 CIF, expand it and check SMB 1.0 CIF client. Hit OK and wait for windows to finish the work. Restart your PC. All is done on the PC side, let's configure panel. Open settings on your panel, and click on network ID. Here you need to write down the username and password. These are the credentials of the user, that we have created. Click on OP and save registry. All is done, let's try to ping to our PC. Pinging is OK. Let's try to ping from PC to HMI. Looks good as well. Now, let's put some text files into the shared folder. To read the files, I am going to use one of my apps. You can find a link to the demo in the description. To access the shared folder, you need to use such syntax, backslash, backslash, computer name, backslash, shared folder name. Let's try to access one of our files. looks pretty good. Let's try another file. And success again. Thank you for watching and happy coding.